McHugh and I am the teacher at the Artery and we have 16 children involved in a piece they named the Chaos Collective. My job as teacher is to just push them to bigger, better, more and have fun with it and not get frustrated. Wearable art can be frustrating because you make a lot of mistakes and there's a lot of trial and error and you have to rip things apart and start again. So it's a, it's a learning curve. And I think they had a lot of fun. We are, we are caught in the middle. We are, we are sitting out loud. We are, we are slaves to the rhythm. And you're never gonna bring us down. We are, we are still the forbidden. We are, we are here and now. We are, we are slaves to the rhythm. And you're never gonna bring us down. We are, we are. Um, so this piece was created by Jan Jorgensen and myself, Milva Fuller. Um, it is called Mixed Signals. Uh, Jan and I uh, created this piece because Jan likes to go halibut fishing and she also uh, likes to go beach combing. And so every summer she drives by uh, Mary Island Lighthouse and she had scraps of fabric that she had been creating masks for during the COVID pandemic. I'm a part of Wearable Arts because I love the creativity and the inspiration that it sparks in the community. Um, I love that it brings a sense of belonging um, and it's just a really, it's a great time for the community to come together, but get behind artists and just have a great time. Ain't it funny how this time just flies? Ain't it funny how it goes by so fast? Ain't it funny how the seasons change? Ain't it funny how the memories stay? the same Hi, my name is Rhonda Green and I'm a model and artist and this year my piece is called The Resonator. 
Um, I actually had no <laughs> inspiration. I was just trying to think of something to, uh, to make pretty much at the last minute. Normally, I'll spend six months on a piece, but I, everything was just so up in the air. I wasn't sure what was going to be happening. So I had been working on a metal piece, and I started using a resin pour method. So I thought, hey, why not? And drew up a few pictures, and I came up with my piece for the 2021 show, which is called The Resonator. It's made of metal, um, obviously poured resin. I've got some cut up anti-static bags that I recycled from my work. And that's about it.